Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Nikki. I am a homeschool mom to an only child in the second grade. Um, and today I'm in collaboration with another Nikki over at Homeschoolology. And we have this thing where we're going to talk about game schooling and how, why we incorporate that into our homeschool day. So I will have Nikki's channel link below and a playlist as well. Please go check out all the other mamas and tell them I sent you. But let's talk about game schooling. Let's just get into it. Okay, so I'll be the first to admit that in the first two, one and a half years um, of our homeschool, we did not do a lot of game schooling. Um, I was very new at this and I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> um, so I was very, very, very scared to step away from the curriculum and take advantage of game schooling. So if we played games, it was like Clue or Tic-Tac-Toe or um, stuff like that. It was not educational related. Um, but that has changed. Um, in the last like year, we've really uh, dove in to more games. So I like the fact that we can add this into our homeschool on a day like we're running behind or um, we're just not feeling the curriculum or we need to take a break or we're just not interested or we're whining or whatever it is, we have to break it up. And I found that it really, really works. So we do these word, or I'm sorry, not word, letter building tiles. Um, so I got this from Lake Shore Learning, but you can probably pick this up on Amazon or a ton of other places. I have different tiles as well. But these are just tiles with letters on them. And I take, I don't have any right in front of me, but we'll take like a dice and we'll roll it. And if it's like five, um, she has to come up with a word with five letters in it. Um, or we play Bananagrams, which I don't have down here, which is upstairs. And that is basically like Scrabble, but better in my opinion. Um, but we do have Scrabble Junior to play. But this gets in some spelling, some um, spelling basically. And if I really wanted to push her, I have more letters house so we can do sentence writing. Um, or just like fun things like that. But I tend to add in the dice or some type of way to get her really interacted in that. The next thing we've been doing is this IC10. So basically there's a bunch of these coins um, and they all have numbers on them and fish types, sea animals on the other side and you basically have to take turns flipping um, the cards and then come up with the combinations to make 10. And it's really fun and it gets her thinking. I think it really puts in the brain just a faster way of counting and it gets her, you know, a little bit I don't want to say fast, but it, it, it just helps with her and getting used to coming up with different ways to make 10. Um, and that one has been fun on like a day where uh, math is or we're struggling on a, a specific lesson. And I think we have a game that can help her instead of throwing an extra workbook page. Um, so we reach for this one quite a bit. Um, next thing up, we have not used this one yet as this is the second grade one, but we have used the first grade and the kindergarten one. But this is the Quest, um, Brain Quest, ages seven to eight, a thousand questions and answers. Basically on one side of the card, 
you get a question and then the answer is on the back. So a lot of this is fun because it's, it's not specific. Um, like there's language arts, there's math, there's social studies, um, there's science and there's a miscellany. Uh, so say I wanted to add in some to our language arts and only do that, then I only can ask her the language arts category. I don't have to ask her a social studies or math or anything and we can stick to those types of questions. Um, they do come with two books in a pack um, and again, this is the Brain Quest. So one that I got recently um, is this exact change. So this is basically like Uno, but with money, um, at least as far as I can see, like you can play a card by matching the amount, like play a quarter on a quarter, or play a card by matching color, play green on green, or you could play multiple cards that add up to the value of the last card played. So play two dimes and a nickel. This is called making exact change. So we haven't started this one, but I'm really excited about it. But we still are a little bit, um, I, I don't want to say behind, um, but the good and the beautiful hasn't really started diving into money until this level two. They've been doing a lot more with money, but not necessarily change. Um, they've just been doing like dollars right now. So I'm really excited once they do to start incorporating this in and just giving a little bit of help um, thrown her way. So next up we have this logic game. This is the Balance Beam Seesaw Logic Game. So you to place the red beans on the seesaw as shown, and then place the other designated beans onto the seesaw. When it balances, you win. So this is going in our activity basket. It is amazing because it is a one Play, or it can be a one player game. So nice to add in some independent um, logic. So we haven't gotten a chance to use these yet, but I am so excited to pull these out. I got this match and sort learning quickies. So these are reading comprehension. There's 141 cards, um, answer guides, activity guides, and storage pockets. So let me just pull one out. So this one is what's the big idea? So it's main ideas. And basically you would place the card titles in a row, choose four sentence cards of the same color and place each one under the correct title card. Say the rest of the cards and then check your work. So it has this nice Velcro and then it has um, the main idea cards. So my idea behind this was if I know we're specifically going over something in our language arts, um, I can easily pull it and she can do this independently in our activity basket. So it has main idea, compare and contrast, context clues, making in inferences, key details, sequencing, cause and effects, and informational text. So. I'm excited to dive in. Since we did just start our year, I'm hoping I can start adding and incorporating these into our activity baskets soon. Um, next up is we have another logic game. So this is shape by shape, and you're to combine the pieces to match the image, and there's 60 challenges in here. Um, she really loves this. And the best part is she can do this independently. She doesn't necessarily need me. So um, one thing that I'll be opening this week is we have this hot dots. Um, so basically it's this pen and you get these like notebook style things and you can get them. So these are 106 subtraction problems. So she'd open, here, Woo! scissors being thrown at me by my own self. So this is K through two. So it's all the subtractions that she should be able to do. And 
I'm excited to open this. I'll be opening it next week. Um, so it gives you this, this is an answer card that it's showing you, but it has, okay, let me open it a little bit more just so I can show you. So this is going to be something that is independent for her as well. And it's just going to get her brain going, um, whether it's a brain break from school or whatever, it feels like it's more fun because we're you know, using this pen. So she will have zero and zero and she'll dot on one of these dots with the pen and it'll tell her whether that is correct or not correct. Um, so there are tons of 106 uh, subtraction equations alone and we're gonna do this a lot because she needs to um, practice when it comes to math. Now, they also have so I got addition and subtraction, and they also have like language arts, I think, but I only purchased the math because that's really her struggle um, point, which is why I have um, a lot of math games. I didn't bring them all down here. Um, one game we are going to get into really soon here when we do our mental health study, which if you did not know, I did um, create my, mo my own mental health unit study and i will have that linked down below if you are interested um but this game is called no War worries so it's a social emotional game and we'll be getting into that this year i honestly should have done a video of all the games that are upstairs that we have already been uh doing a lot of but I have all our new stuff down here for this upcoming year. So you're seeing all the stuff that we haven't played yet, except for a few things that I've shown you. But I'm so excited. Um, game schooling is, it can be whatever you want it to be. It could be in replacement of your curriculum. It can add on to your curriculum. It can help in adding more, uh, practice. It can just be something fun to break up your day. It could be something independent um, that helps with the logic or just it doesn't even have to be a logic game. Um, we play regular war. Um, I'm thinking of teaching her how to play solitaire and it's just things that keep in my opinion their brain moving um, without just like tossing in a workbook in front of their face or work problems or anything and it's a game to them so they love doing them um but that is how we incorporate it now i'm gonna have a really big update i'm not sure if that update will be up before this video or not but you can go ahead and look in the description below if you see it if not it is coming soon um but it's going to be a really big change to our day our homeschool day and i'm nervous i'm nervous um but i think based on the things i've showed you here today you might be able to get an inkling as to where that's going but that is all i have down here i truly think that game schooling should be a part of your homeschool whether it's just something fun to incorporate or a unit to go along with a unit study or curriculum or just on its own on a Saturday or a rainy day. Um, get down on the floor and play some of these with your kids and you'd be surprised how much more learning can take place. But that is it, my friends. Please go check out Nikki over at Homeschoolology and the playlist down below and see all these other awesome games that our friends, our other mamas have um, used in their homeschool. And I will see you in my next video. Please, 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 please subscribe, like, and let me know what games are your favorite in your homeschool. Bye, friends.